Today I'm gonna talk about the nose and the mouth. So why am I putting these two together? Well, because of a couple of reasons. The first one is they are the two things that you try to do as minimalistic as possible. Meaning that you don't draw every detail of the nose and every detail of the mouth. Uh, you try to keep it as simple as possible. Uh, I'm going to show you uh, three different ways I do mouth and noses. Uh, so I have three heads here, uh, one front and one in a more three quarters profile kind of way. Uh, from the side profile it's very different because then you have to shape the whole head so I'm not going to show you that today. Uh, if you want to see it let me know and I will try to do it later on in a later video. Anyway, uh, the first uh, version of a nose I usually do is remember the nose uh, goes actually from here and down here and then you know if you're doing the whole nose it usually is kind of like something like this then you have the opposite side going over like this right so you have the bridge of the nose you have the tip uh, depending on if you have a small nose, a big nose, wide, smaller, and stuff like that. But uh, we're not gonna do uh, anything of that, so I'm gonna erase it. Because that's too much detail, that's way too much detail. Uh, you can do some of that uh, in shadowing, and I will show you later when we get to the uh, coloring and shadowing part uh, of the tutorials. But what I usually do is, you saw how I did the whole detail version. Now I'm just gonna do like this. So it's a triangle, which is a shadow. And this is to represent the bridge and the tip of the nose. And then I just do a little bit of a line here. Maybe a little bit like that. And we can actually move it a little bit so we get more in center. And remember, depending on where you put the nose, like if I put it down here, it's a long face. So remember, you have to have the nose kind of like if you have the mouth, if the mouth goes here, you have to be able to, you know, this looks wrong because the nose is too much up. This maybe too long down because then you have a very long nose and very small area for the mouth so remember try to keep it so you have some space to open up the mouth and not too far the you could almost say it's kind of like this it's supposed to be like that's where the nose is supposed to be and the rest is the mouth going all the way down to the tip of the jaw Okay, so I'm gonna erase the mouth because that's not one of the mouths I'm gonna do. So, uh, why, like I said before, do I put the nose and the mouth together? Well, because they kind of work together. Uh, the nose and mouth are dependent on each other. If you do a certain type of a nose, uh, and you have to put the nose and mouth very uh, in combination in combination with uh, the nose and mouth the eyes and everything else can be kind of disconnected but the nose and mouth keep the nose actually goes from the bottom right into the kind of split you have here uh, from the lip so now once again I'm gonna do all detailed version here uh, of a mouth and we have the lips the lines that go actually into the lip as you can see here now this is very detailed but it also makes it look kind of like she's this character is old and for this I did a female mouth the way I draw is that I usually do the upper and lower lip uh, kind of like a little bit more 
uh, when it's female. But when it's male, I don't do the upper lip. Uh, I only do a little bit of the under lip, just to show that he actually has a mouth. But this is too much detail, and this isn't looking good because even if, if even if we know it's there, we don't have to show it. Sometimes less is more. Okay, that's why I kind of put nose and the mouth together because less is more. Okay, so we're gonna do a simple mouth. Um, I'm gonna do just like this. Uh, I'm actually gonna go do that again. And there we go. As you can see, I just did kind of a line uh, and I'm gonna correct it a little bit. This is one of the advantages of doing digital. Uh, so you can see here, uh, I did a line which has uh, an abruption in the middle and that's my way of showing that here where the abruption is that's where the middle of the lip is okay so this is just for now it's an if um, a male mouth okay so usually I just do a little bit of a shadow kind of thing to show that he has an upper and an under lip okay but if I was gonna do this the female way I would still have the same kind of like lines here but and here you have so many different variations you can do full lips you can do small lips you can do you know a different kind of mouth but I usually do just a little bit of that not too heavy the upper lip, I always do light. I'm ne I never try to do heavy lines. I just do light lines for the upper lip. For the under lip, I try to start at the same pace. Try to round it out. And I try to do it a little bit more heavier lines. Because here I want to emphasize the under lip. Okay? So, the difference is... Kind of like uh, for female and male, as you could see, I can just use the eraser here to show you the difference. Because literally it's just less lines for a male, like so. Now we have a guy again. So you can see how easy it is to just manipulate to do these things. Um, so I'm gonna show you a couple of ways to do this, uh, just kind of different now because this was a kind of a neutral mouth. If you want to do a happy mouth, I usually try to do starts. This is where if you smile and you look into the mirror, you will see you have you're straining the skin kind of like this because you're stretching it from the cheek, which is going here. But now I'm just emphasizing the lines. This doesn't look good at all. It's, you can do this when you do an older character, but... Uh, so as you can see... This is how it's shown in real life, but you know, more shadows and stuff like that. So it, it's too much. So we're not gonna do that. So I'm just gonna erase this. And I just do the, this, the, the, the pimples, no, not the pimples, the, uh, the fall pits, the pits where you have the start of the smile. And I do kind of the same way. A line that is uh, abrupted in the middle. And I try not to do a too big. You see here, I'm going a little bit too much to the side. So I'm going back because, uh, there, no, there we go. Because the lines should always be connected here. It shouldn't be two lines. It should be al al always one line because it's it looks better. It just looks better because otherwise he's really grinning. And if you're going to go for a real big grin, do a big grin. Don't do half-assed. Just do a big grin. So once again, if it's a male, I do something like that. A little deformed triangle underneath and we get this 
You could also do a little bit of a sh shadow here at the end, which kind of shows that the teeth is what we're actually seeing because this this area here will be white, so we will see only darkness in the ends of the mouth, which looks better as well. Same thing here, if we're gonna do this as a female, we erase this. I'm actually gonna move this a little bit more down because I want room for the upper lips. But it's the same thing as before. I'm gonna do the upper lips like this. And I went too far up. And we have a little bit more heavier and we get a female. Now, as, as I said, you can do a different kind of uh, female mouth if you want to. If you have, want to have it just the up under lip, it's fine. But you have to emphasize perhaps other parts then to make it more female. Maybe the eyelashes could be something like this. Then you don't have to do much work. You can just do like this. You can do something like this. And then you have a female. Uh, and why I do this... Uh, is because I had a hard time uh, practicing and drawing women uh, when I started out drawing. My females looked like guys with you know bad wigs and stuff like that. So it took me a long time to f figure out what could I do to help sell the image that it was a female. Besides you know the body shape and stuff like that. If it just was from the neck and up, how would I, you know, get it to look more female? Anyway, we're gonna go ahead and go uh, from this smile guy uh, to the others, the side uh, profile here. Now, as I show you here, this is one of the notes I usually do. From the side, it's actually a little bit more harder to do because now you don't have the shadow area. Uh, you could do it on the other side, but it doesn't work that well. What I usually do is I usually draw an extra line up here to show you, you know, if I would do this in detail, uh, the nose part would be something like this. Now remember, this is a pointy nose I'm doing right now. Uh, I usually do those because I like the manga, the anime style. Um, but if you have, a, if you want it to be round, you have to remember the shape of the nose. Okay. So I'm gonna do it like this, and in detail, if you, you know, if you want to do it like realistic, it would be something like this. The nose would come like this. Maybe you see something on the other side of the nose, and you know, details and stuff like that. But once again, I'm not gonna do that uh, because it's too much. It's too much detail when everything else doesn't fit. But I usually do this line just to show that I know where the line of the nose is going to go. And I just do the last part. I just do the last part of the nose. And for this, I'm just going to do a slight shadow like this. Sometimes I actually even do what is kind of the the second hole of the nose so to speak but this is once again just less is more okay you can do this shadow different ways you don't sometimes you don't even have to do the shadow if it's supposed to be very bright you can just do a little short line here because we as people fill in the blanks you don't have to do every detail line and sometimes showing less is actually more because it's kind of like when you're reading a book you have to visualize what's, uh, what the words are telling you. Same goes here. We just give them kind of like, here's point A and here's point B. But the mind fills in what's missing in between. So remember that. Sometimes, sometimes less is more. Now, we're going to do the same smile uh, on this side here. And for this, sometimes you have to actually change the shape of the head so I'm gonna do that now uh, because when you're smiling you're actually you know con you're changing your face and sometimes you have to accommodate 
that change. So I'm just gonna go and do a little bit change here. I'm gonna do, oops, I went too far. So now we have, we know that right here, that's where the line is, right? The line from under your nose that goes to the middle of your lip, okay? So if we do the same here, we know where the middle and the abruption is. But as you can see now, since he's turned, as you can see on the eyes, this side, the left side for us, or his right, is smaller, shorter. And the right side for us, his left side, is larger, bigger, because it's more, it's turned to the camera. We, as the viewer, are the camera. So, for this, I do a longer take on this. But on this side, I do it shorter. So it con connects with the length on this side. Same goes here, and I'm gonna do a short line here. Once again, try not to do both both lines to go with like something like that. Now this looks a little bit wrong, but we're gonna fix it. Just wait. Because now, here, we once again do the little bit of the dark here. Here we're gonna do a little bit more because we are so much turned now that it actually turns out bigger because now we can now we have to change it because we're looking at it in a 3d way so we're gonna see a little bit more of a sharp line there than on this side but once again now we have the correct way to do it and I'm gonna remove that and now we have a guy that smiles on both sides remember the same thing goes if you want to do the female version just remember long shorter and then like this okay so we're gonna go down to the next uh, the next version of the nose is actually even less <laughs> it's actually even less than this one that we did uh, because now we're gonna take the thing we did here and make it even simpler we're actually just gonna do two of them and I'm not gonna do it in the middle because I have a problem getting it into the center sometimes. <laughs> uh, there we go. So now we have just two nostrils in the middle of the page. This is the most simplest way to do a nose. Okay, this is the most simplest way to do a nose. Here you have to rely on the reader actually, you know, really really uh, filling in the blanks okay uh, and we're gonna do a different kind of mouth we're actually gonna do a kind of just a stroke of a line and I'm gonna try and do it happy as you can see here um, no actually we're not gonna do that we're not gonna do that because we're gonna do a, a very angry mouth. No, not angry, but you know, grumpy kinda. There we go. Uh, as you can see, I did the mouth a little bit tilted because this is kind of like, hmm, it's that kind of face. If you look at a person and you, if you look at this drawing and you add the sound effect, hmm, that's what you kind of get from this. He's kind of like, you know, powering his mouth, but onto the side, like he's doing like a, a wink or a, like a sound, like a hmm. Uh, and you can experiment with this, remember? Uh, always try to uh, look in the mirror, uh, try to do uh, very eccentric, uh, eccentric, or you know, very expressive uh, facials, uh, and try to remember how it looks. If you need it, you can take your, you know, your phone, take a selfie of you doing maybe angry, happy, or you know, doing a, a weird face that you want to capture, just to see how you 
uh, scrunch your mouth or how you twist your lips and stuff like that to do these kinds of emotions. I, I have done it a lot of times. I actually sometimes, you know, use my phone, my webcam or my mirror, just, you know, looking into it and like, hmm, okay, how would I do this uh, expression? Uh, so we're gonna jump over to this side. Uh, as always, I always do this line because it just shows me that there the nose bridge comes. Uh, for this, same thing goes here. We're gonna do a little bit bigger of a line on this side and just like this. And we have the nose. Uh, for this, uh, once again, I am gonna go and I think I kind of missed something on the heads here, but it's, it's okay, we fix it, we fix it. Always remember, sometimes you have to edit your uh, drawings just to make it fix, uh, to make it work uh, for your drawings. Same thing goes here, we're just gonna go and... I'm just trying to translate this uh, remembering that from the middle, shorter, longer, okay? And we get the hmm, hmm face, okay? So we're gonna jump to the last nose and mouth. And this is a nose uh, that I used for a long time until I kind of felt it uh, it works sometimes. It works sometimes for me, sometimes it doesn't work, but it's easy. It's very simple. It's just kind of like a cat nose. And that's pretty much it. Uh, what I'm actually doing here is that I'm drawing, if I'm going to do it in detail, uh, more or less what I'm doing is, first off, I actually did it a little bit wrong, uh, but the idea is this you have the nose here and you have the tip so this triangle kind of cat nose is actually just the shadow underneath the nose so it is, isn't actually anything but a shadow so it looks like a cat, cat nose but it actually is just the shadow underneath the nose and the wings and as you can see it works sometimes it works it is usually works better with you know kind of like cute characters or you know innocent uh, female characters uh, and i'm gonna do a mouth that is actually uh, sometimes hard to pull off but uh, it really works well when you get it right and as you can see, all I did here is actually kind of like half an egg and a little bit of a half an egg on this side. Uh, what I'm going to do now is two versions. Uh, you can either do the teeth, like a row here, and then a line here, which makes teeth and tongue. And this is inside the mouth, which we will just fill with darkness, okay? So now you have a mouth that's actually speaking to you now. Uh, this is a mouth I usually do when it's either talking or, you know, making a sound uh, from the mouth. Uh, sometimes you can do uh, a little bit of under lip here if you want to. Uh, for female, I just try to do kind of like this. Not too much because then the mouth actually doesn't kind of work. Uh, it depends, it depends on how you feel about it. Um, but as you can see, we get the cat nose and an open mouth. But like I said, we can do two versions of this mouth and I'm gonna move this and this. Uh, the shape is still the same, but we only have now the mouth. Sometimes showing teeth is kind of bad, Sometimes it's really good. The more intense, the more the teeth, but sometimes actually showing teeth can show uh, hostility, uh, can be angry. So remember that if you don't want it to sometimes look mad, try to remove the teeth and only show like this. This is also uh, something you can do 
wider. You can do this in a kind of surprised way. And then you have the classic manga anime style, which is more like, <gasps> what the hell is going on? And then you have this mouth, the open mouth. Now the eyes don't match this expression. Remember that the eyes have to match the expressions. So if we're gonna do, we're gonna do a quickie here, I'm gonna do uh, take some white to just uh, put some over the the eyes here, just to show you what kind of eyes he actually needs. Uh, and I'm gonna take that and go. What we really need is kind of like the, these eyes. The eyebrows are not correct, I know this. But you have to have like this, then the, you know, the eyes and nose and mouth work together. The eyebrows are not matching, as you can see. But if we once again remove Now you get the surprised eyes, all right? Uh, so we're gonna remove this, there we go. Um, so this mouth, we're actually just gonna do a talking mouth, okay? Uh, so we're gonna do that, and we're gonna do like this. You can almost say it's, it looks like a leaf, uh, a simple leaf. The shape of the mouth. And there we go. Like that. All right. So we're gonna go back to the turned profile, and I'm once again gonna change a little bit of the head, just so we get a better profile. Um, and we're gonna do the nose first. Now remember, we're now turned, so. I'm going to do uh, kind of like on the side here and go a little bit like that. Sometimes you can perhaps put some, a little bit, a little line just showing where the nose starts to go up. And once again, I'm do this line and we're going to have him talking, but now we're turned. Here comes the big change for now, because now we have the mouth open. If we look at this from profile, which is from totally from the side and uh, the nose we have it kind of like this and we have the, the skull and we have the neck going like this but now since he's talking the mouth is actually open so the next step from front here and then it goes so it goes kind of like this okay from the side it's actually open we can kind of see the teeth and he's talking like that Okay, but how do we translate that in a halfway? It's not completely from the side, it's a little bit turned, but it can't be the leaf shape that we have done from the front because now it's turned. So what we have to remember is the mouth has kind of like a lip like this. If we're gonna do it detailed, it's gonna be something like this. And now this is really bad, but just try to uh, understand how the reality of it works. So it's gonna be kind of something like this, if we look at it from, you know, in a detailed way. But like I said, detail is sometimes bad for you. Uh, so what we're gonna do is just simply gonna go a little bit of a line here, and then try to get some of the leaf shape back so we're gonna round it up a little bit or round it out i should say just so we get the same kind because now we're kind of kind of tricking uh, the reader uh, i'm gonna go and actually try again because i'm not liking the shape sometimes you can just do it like this that we draw a line like that and have the teeth no actually we're gonna no oh, it kind of kind of works it kind of works uh, and we're gonna do the mouth on the side and you get 
a talking mouth like such. You can also do it. Uh, actually, I'm gonna do. I'm gonna try and do another version. Uh, this also takes some time. Sometimes it doesn't work the way you think. Uh, I'm just gonna go in like this, and I'm gonna go and just do the teeth. And I'm actually gonna go beneath and go the sheep, the leaf shape here, and then go like that. So what I have done now is that I've turned, so we have from here, the lip goes kind of like this. And if we're gonna do like the female lip, we kind of put the lips like that. Well, 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 without this line, of course, but. So you can see it's almost like the, from the side where the mouth is open and the person is talking like such and we have the nose so this is from the side and this is almost to the side okay so you can just erase a little bit like this and you get the same result for a guy okay so these are the mouths and the noses that I do uh, I try to think what works best with the character uh, what kind of nose do they have uh, sometimes like if uh, I do a new layer and we're gonna remove this let's say that this character has a more rounded nose then I try to okay if the guy has perhaps a more rounded nose okay what can I do with the shape if this is kind of like the the end of the nose and we have the bridge kind of like this and going like this so he has a more rounded nose okay how do I change so that it looks good well you have to check out the shapes once again it's all based on the shapes so you can remove the bridge. Always remove the bridge. That's what I do. I always remove the bridge. I don't like the bridge. I can do it sometimes in shadow if I have to, but I always try to remove it from the line art. I can do the shadow and remove kind of like the this and get it like that and just get the shadow. As you can see, it's a more rounded shape, bigger. Uh, but I can also just do the side shadow like I did before. But this time we do it a little bit more rounded. And I just do this. Oops. Uh, and like such. A more rounded nose. Uh, but not showing too much. And so on and so on and so on. Okay, so there always is ways to you know do it. And if you get the chance to do it in profile, try to show off more. Try to make everything fit for the character. If he's a more fat person, uh, or she or he, whatever. It's if it's a fat person, you try to make it more round. You make the shapes work with that uh, kind of character. If he's a small, creepy person, you have to try to make the nose, the eyes, and mouth the same way you know what works best with uh, those kinds of char char characters uh, I hope you have learned something um, more videos will be coming uh, but I thank you for you know watching today if you like it please help me out uh, subscribe comment favorite like this video uh, you know just Try to help me out so I know that you are watching and that you are uh, entertained by what I'm doing. I will see you next tutorial video. Bye bye.